But let's bring in our guest for this hour. Joining us now, National Trial Attorney Michael Jaffer. Michael, that was the family court judge there at the end, of course, before Doug Benefeld was killed. But the judge that we have actually over the case where we're in now, the murder trial, this morning the defense tried to get him to recuse himself because of how he characterized the denial of the Stand Your Ground immunity case. I mean, this seems like a Hail Mary that the defense was trying to throw up on the eve of trial. But your thoughts on where a defense uh, finds this idea of deciding, let's try and go after the judge just because they made a ruling previously against us. That rule, that uh, move by the defense attorney confused me. I can, I've got to imagine it has something to do with that bizarre colloquy that that same judge had with Benningfield, uh, where he just went on and on and on I think for 30 minutes preparing for a 3850 motion, which is a post-conviction motion. I have to assume it has something to do with that because, it, not out of vindica vindictiveness, but because I think they think that they're going to have to, they have grounds, they have an opening to, you know, file for a new trial if this goes against them by basically combining the two, you know, his denial of the stand your ground motion along with, you know, his bizarre colloquy. I don't think it's smart. It kind of confuse me a little bit but I have to imagine that has something to do with it to be quite frank with you if you ask me in a thousand trials how many times do I see an attorney file a motion for the judge to recuse himself the week before the trial I would probably say zero now I have to say one out of a thousand because of this case but it kind of confused me but I that's the only thing I can imagine as being the impetus behind it yeah that was a weird colloquy yeah <laughs>